Hey everyone, Steve Kazee here for uh, my backstage video blog here at Once the Musical, uh, playing right now at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater. Get your tickets while the getting's good. Um, so this is my final vlog, vlog, is that a word? Yeah, vlog, backstage video blog, guitar hero thing that I've been doing here for Broadway.com. Um, so I just wanted to thank everyone for watching all of these and, and I hope that you've taken something away from it. Um, I, uh, I decided today uh, for my last one that I would just ask and do a sort of Twitter Q&A and see, um, see if people were interested in having a conversation with me five minutes before I have to go out on stage here. So um, I sent out a tweet, starting to get some responses here. So let's take the first question. Uh, this is from at Mar Bar Italiano. Um, and she says, what's your pre-show routine or how do you get yourself in the zone? Um, I don't know, I don't know if I get myself in the zone. I just kind of go out there and, you know, look at my scene partner and live inside of a character and try to be honest as much as possible. I'm not a big uh, prep guy. I do a little bit of a vocal warm up, like 20 minutes worth of a vocal warm up, a little bit of a physical warm up, um, just to get the blood flowing, get the cardio going. Uh, if it's been a while, uh, usually not with one day off, but like if we've had a couple of days off or I was out of town for a week, then I'll play guitar. I have a guitar here in the dressing room that I'll sort of uh, warm up the fingers with. But uh, for the most part, I don't really have like a crazy pre-show uh, routine. Uh, I'm not one. Of, I'm not like. Uh, I, I wish I was more like those actors that like, you know, keep a journal of their character and uh, you know just sort of live in the character all day long. But uh, that's that's just not how I do it. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next one is uh, Lauren O'Donnell at Endless Dreamer One. I love these Twitter names. Uh, it says, "Have you had any mate? And have you had any amazing fan experiences at the stage door?" Hmm. I don't know what you mean by amazing fan experiences. Um, I mean, it's I I I was. I think I've mentioned this before, and if any of you saw my Instagram of me and Anthony Rapp. Not to mention the hundreds of other stage door photos that I have. I was always a stage door kid. Uh, from the first time I started seeing musicals, uh, I just wanted to see the performers up close and to say thank you. And and uh, so I have always sort of felt a, a, a bit of a responsibility to go to the stage door and to sign as many autographs and to be friendly with people. Uh, a, because I just sort of like people. I like meeting new people and I, I like sort of the communal aspect of live theater. Um, but I also just remember how special it was when people were nice to me at the stage door, like Anthony Rapp, uh, like so many others uh, out there. And I also remember when people haven't been so nice to me at the stage door. And some of those people I know today, but they don't remember they weren't nice to me. But we'll save that for another set of video <laughs> blogs. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it's always nice. I, I always like when people come and I like to, I always sort of like to know where people are from. So a lot of times I'll ask, uh, you know, where are you from? What are you doing in the city? Are you seeing any other shows? And I'll try to recommend as many like good shows as possible. Like I've been sending everybody to Peter and the Starcatcher because I just think you just got to see it. Um, okay, let's see. Um, this is from Alex Way, Music Junkie Double Zero. He says, what's the strangest thing any of the cast has had to autograph? No comment. Uh, the next question. <laughs> no, the weirdest thing. I mean, you know, the people have been wanting. Like, I've had a couple people want me to sign various parts of them, which I try not to do unless it's a very PG area. Don't want to cause any problems. Um, but I've gotten some things sent to me at the stage door, which have been a little strange. Some underwear, which was very weird. Maybe one more before I gotta go down here, and then I'll try to do some more intermission. Um, Loading, loading, I have the worst service in my dressing room. Um, by the way, how to get a new iPhone? What is that about? Really? I just got an iPhone and the, the port corroded out on it. So I'm going to have to, I ordered some replacement parts. Those of you who may not know this, but I'm a sort of do it yourself, fix it nerd. Uh, so I just ordered all the replacement parts online and uh, I'm going to take my old iPhone apart, put it back together. That way I can get all the information off of it and then maybe recycle it or or give it away to somebody who wants an iPhone 4. Um, all right, so that looks like that's all the questions that have sort of come in for now. So I should probably continue to uh, get ready for the show and hopefully there'll be some more intermission. I'll fire the camera back up and, and answer some more. All right, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's uh, act one.
is over. It's intermission. I've got about five minutes to do this, so I'm going to uh, check the old phone, see if I've got any more questions. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got a lot from, uh, this is from Michelle, at Michelle underscore Ann. Let's see, she's got three questions, so let's see. Uh, what's your favorite scene to be in in Once Musical? What's your favorite thing about playing Guy? <laughs> Can I be your date to the Tonys? That's brilliant. Uh, um, my favorite scene? I don't know, I like the scene, there's so many. I mean, I like the scene where Kristen and I first meet. Uh, I like the studio scene a lot, um, just because it gives everybody a chance to sort of really do some fun things. Um, I like playing When Your Mind's Made Up. I think, I, I don't know what my favorite song is. It, it sort of changes every night. Um, but I think it's probably gold or when your mind's made up or falling slowly. You know, I mean, falling slowly every night when when Kristen and I sing that together, it's sort of the the moment where the show really clicks in for me. So, and can you be my date to the Tonys? Well, I still don't have a date for the Tonys. Uh, I'm in the process of trying to figure all that out. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I yeah, I sort of have a rule. It has to be somebody that I already know. It would be the worst first date ever because you'd just be sitting there by yourself for most of the night, uncomfortably not knowing anyone. It would be very weird. Um, but thank you. But yeah, probably not. <laughs> Thomas Delgado wants to know, any advice for aspiring actors in New York City? I get this question a lot. Here's the best advice I can give you. If there's something else in your life that you're passionate about that you feel like you could do for a living, do that because this business is tough it's heartbreaking sometimes it's uh it's just a tough business and i always tell people if there's something else you like more or something else you feel like you'd be better at then do that you don't ever have to stop acting or performing there's always outlets for that but if you're not in it a hundred and fifty thousand percent like if you're not able to hear no a hundred times a week or if you're not able to get beaten down by a city and then still find a way to pick yourself back up, then this business is not for you. At Jen Sandler says, oh, wait, what do you what do you do to prepare to play Guy every night? Well, Jen, I've already answered that question. I hate to not be able to. Uh, at intermission, here's what I do. I have a cookie. Look to Beth. Um, oh, and leading right into that perfectly. Well, actually, let's see. This is at Jen, at Jen Giant. Manuel Nava says, what's the first thing you did when you found out Once Musical was headed to Broadway? Who did you call? I think I called my mom first thing. Um, but what I did was I went right and did a show because we found out that half hour before our first performance, our opening night performance at New York Theatre Workshop. Oh, this is a good question. This is from uh, Prima Donna Muse. She's, or she or he, I think it's a she. <laughs> it's she, Prima Donna Muse. Says if you could be in any band in the world right now, what band would it be? That's a very tough question, but I'll give you my top four. Uh, the Walkman, uh, in Damien Gerardo's band, My Morning Jacket, or right now, probably The Lumineers, because I'm just what I've been listening to lately. Although maybe an M83, because I've been wanting to get into like a little more electronic music, but anyway, um, there you go. Let's see, um, sorry I'm just skipping through some of these because a lot of them are repeats. Um, oh, this is a good one. Uh, at Reviewing Drama, Robin Riegelhaupt. I hope I said that. Riegelhaupt? Riegelhaupt? Very German. Um, what prompted you to pick up a guitar for the first time and what did it feel like when you did? It's a great question. I don't know what prompted me to pick it up the first time, but I knew when I did it was the instrument that I was born to play and that I only wanted to play. Uh, I just knew immediately. I can still remember what it smelled like, the wood, and how it felt, and how sore my fingers were after a week of playing it. So, um, all right, and this is going to have to be the last one. Um, all right, and we're going to go with uh, at M. Uh, this is M at EML forty five. Uh, let's see, lightning round, coffee or tea? Tea. Coke or Pepsi? Coke, but I don't drink soda. I haven't had a soda in two and a half years. Um, ice cream cup or cone? Ooh, that's a good question. Pint of Ben & Jerry's. Gum or mints? Both, uh, but I would say mints first. New York City in the summer or the winter? Ooh, good question. Winter. 
winner. Uh, crew neck or a v-neck, I think anybody who knows me is all about v-necks. Um, cash or credit? These days only credit, but I wish it was more cash. So that's it folks. Uh, I gotta go back out there for another act and I just wanted to take one more chance and say thank you so much for watching. This has been a pleasure for me to do these blogs and I hope it's been just as much of a pleasure uh, for you to watch them. I hope that uh, you all enjoy the Tonys. I hope we win lots of things and uh, I'll be seeing you around. Take care. Bye.